Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Cacawam. Every cacawam. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Frustration. Frustration. Poverty. 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 In my life. In my life. Say today. Today. As I begin to clap my hands. As I begin to clap my hands. Die. Die. Poverty. Die. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I recover. I recover. Open your eyes and look at me, everybody. Pa. Say, I recover. I recover. Whatever I have lost in my life. Whatever I have lost in my life. Now you are going to say, I take it back. I take it back. You I will pray and move around. Not just the way you are standing now. I take it back. Say, in the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. I take back. I, I take, take back. back. Whatever I have lost in life. Whatever I have lost in Whatever life. Whatever I lost in destiny. Whatever I lost in destiny. Say, today. Today. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I back. I take it back. I begin to take it back right now. the man of God straight to the podium we have taken most of our time but I want you to do something for me I want you to do something for me tell your neighbor say neighbor this night this night take it very special say something good something powerful is about to happen to you if you take it lightly you will miss it are you ready to miss it let your neighbor answer you. Give the Lord a very big clap of rain. Be seated in the house. Be seated in the house quickly. Get seated in the house. Get seated in the house. Amen. We want to thank the men ministry for this. If you are not clapping, maybe your papa now. Clap well. Now let bad people not go feel clap for this kind of thing. Are you the house? Now hear me and hear me well. Hear me and hear me well. I think the men's the men's program, the men's ministry have put up something that will change the destiny 
of so many people for life. For every man that contributed to this, I tell you something, you have affected destinies. You have affected nations. Not just nations, nations. You have affected families. At the end of today, you will be happy that you were part of this program. I want everyone. Come on. You want to clap, clap very well. I say celebrate them. They are the fathers in the house. Praise God. This is the one men's convention 2019. Even the men, you are not excited about it. I expect to hear something good. And I have to thank God for the leadership of the men, for, for the pastors, for putting this together. And to us, it's already a huge success. It's already a huge success. We will still be moving on today, tomorrow, then on Sunday is the grand finale. You can't afford to miss that day. But we are kicking up in a very powerful, mature, and glorious way. And we enjoy the best of life in Jesus' name. Praise God. Those of us at the front row, please do us a favor. You will occupy the other last seat at the back so that the choirs can move from here and move to that place. So we just, I don't know whether the man of God is going to sing. But the very moment we introduce the man of God, um, except those that are lead, lead vocals here, you can stay. But the rest, just move down and stay there. You can move now because we're almost, we're almost done. Except those that will be doing some backup here, they can stay. They can stay in the name of Jesus. Give them a very big clap offering if you can. Give them a very big clap offering. So this is the first time we're actually inviting a guest outside the state in our men's program. This is the first time. Men will not try. Will not try. Men, I say will not try. What's your problem? Men, I say will not try. Clap for yourself. That's what I mean. You don't want to celebrate yourself. You celebrate yourself. People, they look now for internet. Uh, look me like this. Hallelujah in the house. So we have in our midst today, not on Facebook, not on Handby. Not then say, not on announcements. Are you in the house? It's not Pastor Peter making announcements here. No. Life, face to face. We have in our midst today Evangelist Doctor Innocent Josiah. Is that the way we celebrate men of God here? If you want to shout, shout, if you want to jump, jump, if you want to scream, scream. I'm glad to tell you we'll be with us now till on Sunday. For those of you that is shouting to the glory of the Lord, may you be the first to encounter miracle today. See them. Both who, who shout and who not shout, that they say amen. May the Lord bless you with a good amen. Praise God. Amen. He's no longer a new person to us. He's part of this ministry. He's somebody, even when I'm not around, I trap out of the country. He comes in and holds meetings for me without any fear. He understands us and will be part and part of what we are doing today. He carried a very rugged, prophetic anointing, divine utterance, the word, and of course, he carries apostolic grace. He preaches from nation to nation, from state to state. If you view him through his Facebook, you know that he's not, he's a mobile, he's a mobile person. He does not stay in one place. I said, sound, walk on this microphone. He does not just stay in one place. He moves from one place to another, not to go and eat chicken and burger. Are you in the house? He's not going there to go and buy bag and sell at a bar market. No. He's going from place to place doing what he wants to do today. He's one of those precious Jesus ambassadors. And Jesus has trusted him over the years with the message of Jesus, with his message. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I have, good, I have good news for you. It's my singular honor on behalf of the men of this great ministry and the men of this great ministry. I want to make welcome to the podium to this honorable and exalted people today. The ministry of Dr. Innocent Josiah. Give the Lord a very big clap of him.
Hallelujah. Church, Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Who is living here tonight with a testimony? Are you the person? Let me hear your amen if you are the person. Hallelujah. You are going to help me go to 10 persons of your choice. Tell that person, my story must change after this night. My story must change. Depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I want to see you dance, clapping your hands to Jesus. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you. I want to hear your voice. I depend only on you, King of glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, oh, King of glory. I uh -huh. depend only on you, your hands, your Lion hands. of Judah. I depend only on you, King of glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah, I depend only on you, oh, King glory. of glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I want to hear your hands, everybody. I want to hear your hands. I want to hear you dance. I depend only on you, King of glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of glory. I depend only on you. I depend only on you, King of glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of glory. I depend only on you, Jesus of Judah. I depend only on you, King of glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of glory. I depend only on you.
depend only on you. Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you. I want to see you dance in the presence of God. Yeah. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, Ibama de Chendo. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. Only on you, yeah, your yeah. mind in the wild. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you, Jesus. I depend only on you, King of Glory. Only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you, Lion. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. I depend only on you, King of Glory. I depend only on you, Lion of Judah. Wave your hands to Jesus, everybody. Begin to worship him. Tell him how much you love him. Just tell him how much you love him. Begin to worship him. Glorify his name. Thank him for whom he is and what he's about to do in your life this week. I want to hear your voice, everybody. Worship him. Thank you, Father. Worship him in your dialect, everybody. Don't be tired. Tell me how do I explain your amazing love for me? Obini be ni ma, idi robi muma. Obini be idi ma. Tell me how do I explain your amazing love for me? Oh, be ni gwe di ma, di ro bi mo ma. Oh, be ni gwe di ma, di ro bi mo ma. You get me. You gave me confidence. I hope is built. 
shall come with trumpet sound. Heard I only in me be found. Glorted the righteousness alone, spotless to stand before the by election he didn't come by selection nobody voted him into the office as a god he came by himself and said let there be light and there was light and the increase of his government shall be no end I am glad I belong to his kingdom thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit Thank you for an hour like this in your presence. Pass through me as a channel, as a vessel to be a blessing to somebody here tonight. I personally will be careful to return the glory back to you. When I suffer the wondrous cross of which the King of glory died, my riches gain, I can't be lost and pocketed, and all my pride. Odubi gamo borazo, ni hami mere mama ka. Odubi gamo borazo noa, ni hami mere mama ka. Ibo lo ni singo ni ngoro, ni me la wanya gaturi me moa. Odubi gamo borazo noa, ni hami mere mama ka. Wave your hands to him. I, I am I am afraid of this atmosphere now. Oh, wave your hand and just close your eyes huh? don't be distracted don't allow anything distract you there is a presence in our midst oh, yeah. in the cross in the cross be my glory ever Righteous soul shall find rest 
beyond the river. Take me to the pillar, my father. <laughs> Worship him, everybody. Just wave your hands. There are soldiers in our midst. Wave your hand, close your eyes. There are angels in form of soldiers in our midst. Take me. As I look at their faces, their faces look fearful like warriors. And the Lord said to me, I am going to use them on your behalf. Amen. Close your eyes, everybody. These soldiers are going to your village tonight. Any man that stands as an Uzziah to your father's house, these soldiers are bringing them down one after the other. This can only happen when you worship him. Just worship him. Oh, son, I'm in the high. Yeah. We hear, we hear, we hear you. Oh, son, I'm in the high. Let your glory fall. Let your glory fall. With your hands, close your eyes. Aha. We praise you. We praise you. Aha. Jesus. the glory we worship you yeah. we reverence you sweet Jesus we worship you uh, these angels are going to your father's we house you. they are going to your village tonight Anything that stands as an Uzziah Worship you yeah. We reverence you Jesus We worship you We reverence you Father. Everybody lay your two hands on your head. Leave the keyboard. Leave the band. Every other microphone off. Close your eyes, everybody. I want to use this five, ten minutes now to take the battles of your life to the camp of your enemies. I know you have prayed. But I want to give you some strategic prayer points you pray now for yourself. And your family. This theme of this program is tied to total restoration. It's time to take back that which the enemy has stolen for many years. You can't have your restoration when you don't know how to pray. You must place a demand for it. And in your placing of your demand, you must be aggressive. If you actually know that that thing belongs to you, when you are placing the demand to have it back, you must be aggressive. It's not a gentleman service. It's not a normal service. It's a service of those who are tired of where they are. It's a service of those who want God desperately to take them to where they belong. You must be able to pray effectively. This is not a Jebus service. It's not a gentleman service. He's talking about restoration. Take him back that which the enemy has taken away and if you know the enemy we are talking about you will not confront him by mere, mere normal prayer you must be aggressive the bible said from the day of john the baptist till now the kingdom has been violent and it's only the violent that will take it by force if i see your eyes open forget about your restoration close your eyes in the name of jesus christ 
in the name of Jesus Christ you are going to shout this prayer say my father my maker I am tired of this present level push me to my next level open your mouth and pray that prayer everybody Leko Patakatala Dadabasha. I am tired of my present level. Push me to my next level. I am not hearing your voice. Everybody take it. Lakatala Dadaba Nagadas. I am tired of my present level. Push me to my next level. Aha. Aha. I am tired of every year the same story. Push me to my next level in life. Aha. I'm not hearing your voice, everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shout this prayer. Say every witchcraft gang up. Take this prayer seriously. Take it very serious. As you are praying this prayer now, you will be clapping your two hands. Fire will be coming out of your hands. Say, every witchcraft can go. That took away my destiny. That tampered with my destiny. As I clap my hands, release it and die. Clap your hands and pray, pray everybody. Every witchcraft can go. That tampered with my destiny. As I clap my hands, release it and die. Aha, 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 aha. Somebody's not praying, you know. Release it, release it, release it. Release it and die. In the name of Jesus Christ, lay your two hands on your head. Say, I, innocent Josiah, call your own name. I refuse to be wasted. My destiny cannot be wasted. Lay your two hands on your head. Say, I, innocent Josiah, my destiny cannot be wasted. Shout the prayer, everybody. Shout the prayer, everybody. Aha, aha. I, innocent Josiah, my destiny can never be wasted. My destiny cannot be wasted. I'm not hearing your voice. Close your eyes. My destiny cannot be wasted. I reject that arrow. My destiny cannot be wasted. My destiny cannot be wasted. I, innocent Josiah, Close your eyes, oh. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe the Lord will answer that prayer, shout fire three times. Number two. Number three. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Say, I, innocent Josiah, I will not die before my time. Close your eyes. Say, I, innocent Josiah, I will not die before my time. Close your eyes. Say, I, innocent Josiah. I will not die before my time. Say, I, innocent Josiah. I will not die by before my time. Say it seven times. One to go. I. Aha, 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 aha. Leko to 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 bala gadaba, le gadaba la gadaba la gadaba la dash, ele ke te 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 te, la gadaba la gadaba la gadaba sha. I will not die before my time. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your two hands on your navel, your navel, your navel, your navel, in the name of Jesus Christ. Say by the blood of Jesus. No, I didn't hear that voice. Say by the blood of Jesus. I separate myself from any cause, 
from my maternal home. Open your mouth and begin to separate yourself. Every maternal uncle, every maternal, maternal cause, I, innocent Josiah, I separate myself. Close your eyes. Call your name. Call your name. Aha. Uh -huh. I separate myself. I separate myself. I separate myself. I separate myself. Le kota la baladas. Yeah. Close your eyes. The violence shall take it by force. Only the violence shall take it. Only the violence. Only the violence. Only the violence shall take it. Close your eyes. Aha. Disconnect yourself. Disconnect yourself. Aha. Somebody's not praying, you know. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your two hands above your head. Say, Thou God of restoration, it's time to restore me. Lift your two hands again. Say, Thou God of restoration, it's time to restore me. Restore me now. Open your mouth and pray that prayer, everybody. Thou God of restoration, it's time to restore me. Thou God of restoration, it's time to restore me. We are not hearing your voice. Let your two hands be above your head. Thou God of restoration, it's time to restore me. Aha. Le kata la balada bo she kata. Ezu wane ke panata nuana dadash. Da God of restoration. It's time to restore me. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the instruction. Lay your hand on your navel again. It's an instruction. You are going to pray for your brothers. Close your eyes. You find it difficult to close your eyes while praying. Why? Don't be distracted. Why we close our eyes at times in the presence of God it is for us not to be distracted. Something you may see something that may take your attention out from the prayers you are praying. Close your eyes. You don't know when God wants to visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are taking this prayer to your family members now, your brothers and sisters, your children, your husband, and your wives. You are going to call their names one by one. Call the name of where they are. Tell God, restore them one by one. If you know their name, call their names. Call the name of where they are. Tell God, it's time to restore them. Close your eyes and begin to pray that prayer. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Aha, 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 aha. Tell God to restore them. Tell God to restore them.
Aha. Open your mouth and pray. Go ahead and pray for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give Jesus a clap offering, everybody. Sit upon your enemies. Can you hear me? Church, can you hear me? All right. Jewel chapter 2, please. I want to salute my brother, my friend, your pastor, a man I love so much, and I love the grace of God upon his life, in the person of Apostle Alfred Priestwill, celebrate him once more, celebrate him. I respect the grace of God upon his life. Like I told you here some time ago, the first time I climbed this altar, I, I knew that one day, the first day I saw him minister in Imo State, where I used to live then, the area, the first day I set my eyes on him, I know that the hand of God is upon him. Till today, till today, the impact of the crusade he came in Nemo State then, that place I was living. People are still talking about him. Even as at, even as at Saturday last week, uh, some people were still asking me because I drove past through that area to see some of my pastor friends that couldn't come for my birthday celebration. Uh, they invited me to put up some, some of uh, one, one or two celebrations. I met so many of them and uh, they keep asking me about him and a lot of people selling supermarkets in the in that area they keep asking me about him and uh, i told them he's doing very fine and the grace of god has been increased upon his life yeah when people talk about a pastor in his absence and they said that pastor there is something special about him when they talk about him and you hear good things about, about the grace of God upon him, that is when you know. You know, you people with him here may not really know um, the value. Uh, and um, we respect him. I love the grace of God upon his life. It's not because he's here that I'm saying it, but it's better I say it in his presence when he is alive. Hallelujah. Celebrate God. Celebrate God because of him. Is a gift to this generation. That's the truth. Those of you walking with him, I want you to know that you are walking with a man of God. A man of God. Amen. I can't forget to celebrate the beautiful wife God gave him. The success of every minister in the ministry depends on the kind of woman that he married. I love this woman. I love the grace. I keep watching her movie, her, her uh, live uh, broadcast when she was away. I was watching it and I see that uh, I know that the grace of God is so much upon her. I enjoy her teachings. I love the, her humility. Praise the Lord. The time Apostle left here, when he traveled and invited me, I walked with her 
and uh, I enjoyed that was when I saw the real her when the husband was not around I told the apostle I said ha this is your this is your wife nearly had preached me from the minute from the administration but I refuse I refuse give Jesus a clap offering everybody <laughs> Thank God because of them, I am happy to be around them. Anytime he places a call on me, even if I'm booked, like this Sunday now, I'm supposed to be starting a crusade in Naked the Poly. Uh, I'm supposed to kick off that crusade with uh, uh, Reverend Dr. Um, Ucho Ume, uh, my very covenant brother. But I told Uche, you are starting the crusade on Sunday because um, a friend needed me that Sunday. So he agreed. And uh, that is why I am here. I love Apostle Prince. We celebrate him once again. He understands the ministry and the man of policy. Amen. I said, amen. amen. Pastor Ben and Co., I love all of you. Can you give Jesus a clap offering? The whole country now is suffering from bad road. It's not only Apostle of God will come back to Nigeria. The bad road. I finish a program for a town where they can take um, I left my around six drive of 30 minutes. We were at the hold up till bad road. Uh, because I pity the man. I don't know where he's going to start from. I pity him. Just pray that the grace of God will help me. At least that one fear God a lot. We are his friends. We keep praying for him. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I want to believe God tonight that 30 minutes from now, somebody here, seated here, your story is going to change. If your amen is the loudest, you are the one I'm talking about. Have you seen Jewel chapter 2? Jewel chapter 2. I read from verse 25 of Jewel chapter 2. The Bible said, And I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eating. The canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm. My great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. I don't care worm. I am a no matter the level of the worm, he no concern me. The key word there is I will do what? I will do what? To restore something means to bring back to life something that was dead. When you hear the word restoration, it means there are aspects of your life that is dead. Some of you here, your spiritual life is at the zero level. I think I should start from that. Your spiritual life is dead. Zero. Your, when your spiritual life is dead, you have opened the gates for the canker worm to enter. When a child of God can stay from Monday to next Sunday or Monday without opening his or her Bible to read, that one is in danger. When you as a Christian, a child of God, cannot wake up in the morning and have a serious communion with God, have a conversation with your maker. Have a good morning devotion.
pray and the, to, to the level that you are satisfied. That is the level of prayer you do to you yourself, you are satisfied. And if you can't do that anymore, you are dead. D E A D. Spiritually, you are dead. And when the enemy wants to deal with you, the first thing he do is to capture your prayer life, your spirit life. The moment he captures your pre spirit life, your prayer life, you are finished. When you as a child of God cannot, some of you, when you want to read your Bible, how do you know a man that is dead spiritually? When you want to read Bible, the first thing you take is to know the last verse where the Bible chapter ends. The moment you some of you, the way you are laughing, you are a victim of what I'm saying. You, you want to read the Bible, you first of all go and check the last verse. If that one ends in 118, you close it. Say, I don't need this type of story this morning. You rush to the one that ends in verse 6 and run it. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He make, you are even rehearsing it and you are entering the bathroom to take your bath. It's a problem. That is where you will know that this one has a problem. He's having an accident in the spirit. When you, how do you know another man that is dead in the spirit? Check his morning devotion. He's rubbish. Total rubbish. That one will need them to do devotion from there. Sleep. Woke up and continue where she stopped. And, and sleep again. And started dreaming. Before you know it, he shared grace. That one has had a spiritual accident. Now listen to me. To bring you back to life, when you talk of restoration, the first thing we need to do to you is to get your spirit man. When you are alive in the spirits, you are in charge of your territory. The palm are warm, canker warm will not have space to enter. Am I talking to people at all? Am I talking to people at all? When your husband is misbehaving and you are fighting him physically, you have missed it. Arrows are flying up and down. One arrow may have entered him to misbehave. It's because you as a wife is not doing your work. You are not alert. You have given room for Pama Worm and Kanka Worm to enter. I want to bring you back to the altar of prayer tonight where you pick up your prayer life. And let me tell you, if you are a member of this church and you are not prayerful, you have a problem because you have a praying pastor. Your pastor is a praying pastor. He's a man that believes in prayer. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? So you must to catch the fire of prayer. Spend quality time. I was talking to a couple of students in um, um, uh, Ebony State University. I was invited in Abakleke. I was talking to them about the benefits of prayers. During my own school days in secondary school, it is a competition among brothers that we fast 120 days we declare it fasting and prayer when I started get, getting fat some people came to my mother and said this is your son he's getting big or he's getting fat if, even when he we know he can pray this is the, my mother said to them I was in my room that day hearing my mother talking to them then when my mother was alive said that my son leave him I want him to grow fat because I can remember days when this my son will lock himself up in the room for days. I, the mother, will come to the door of the room crying for him to open the door. At times he will cough and cough at blood because of prayers. Listen, I take my sons to the mountain at times to pray. You know, when we pray, I say, you all of you, I am not about prayer, but I am here because of you people. Though. As for me, I have killed my bear and my lion. So every Goliath, I must subdue them. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? As all of you should take your time now and pray. You know, the world is going to another level now that the social media is taking the place of prayers in the life of so many people. Some, you see a young girl of 18, 19, 20, 22 being online 
from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the morning. She's still chatting with spirits. And I begin to wonder all my sons and daughters in the ministry. Anyone I woke up at the midnight and I log up, I go to the Facebook, I see you online, and I chat you respond. You are in trouble the next service. Why will you respond at that time of the night? That means you are awake. You are really online. Some of them don't know this trick. If I said hi, you say hello, sir. Sir, good morning. I will not talk again. I say this one is awake. That means she's, uh, she's chatting by this time. Till now, you will explain to me what you are doing online. Chatting with spirits. Marine and they are agent. That's the person you are chatting with. Some people you don't even know. Now, I started telling them in, the, in that table. So I said, listen, this is the time you will invest your time, your energy at the altar of prayer. Prayer is an investment. There is no prayer you offer that God did not hear. He's just waiting for a time, the right time to manifest. When the right time manifests, people will begin to wonder what is happening around you. No, you have invested your time long time ago. You have paid the bill of the car you just bought now. You have paid the bill of the marriage you just entered. You have paid the bill of the fruit of the womb you are looking for. Oga, it is the time to take over the mantle of prayer. When your spiritual life is dead, you are finished. The first thing the enemy did when they captured the man, uh, 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 is it, is it uh, Delilah's husband? What's his name again? Samson. The first thing they did was to remove his first two eyes. That was the first thing they did to remove his what? His two eyes. The moment your two eyes is removed, you are finished. You must take over your prayer life. You must make sure you fan it to flame. And I pray for you tonight, any of you here, that your spirit, your spiritual life is dead. I demand for a total restoration. If I hear your amen, you are number one to take it. This is not the time to club. The best place to club is here as we are now. Thank God for pastors like Pastor Apostle Chris Will, who decorate the church like a clubhouse. You don't have any excuse. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? It's only in the club you see this type of light those days. I don't know how it looks like. I'm not talking to somebody here. Uh, you see this type of light. So you have enough time to dance here the way you want to dance. In the presence of God, not the other way around. Am I communicating here? This is our own club. This is where we belong. This is where you will, you will enjoy yourself in the presence of God. Some of you looking at me tonight, your spiritual life is zero. And I cannot relate with you well. A pastor sent me something on uh, WhatsApp. I opened the video. I kept quiet. He sent another one after two days. I opened the video and I kept quiet. I didn't, I didn't talk. He called me and said, Man of God, don't you see those videos I am sending to you? I said to him, Sir, sorry, you. don't send me this type of videos again. He said, is there anything bad that you watch all this stuff? I said, don't send it to me. Uh, don't try it. If you do it, I'll block you. It means you don't understand this thing. Okay, even if when I joke with you, I am careful of my spiritual life. Even when I, I talk, you, I, I'm careful about that. And my people around me knows that when it has to do with the matters of the spirit, okay, forget me, oh, I don't the matters of the spirit because me and the devil has fought since 1992 started preaching we have fought and I know where he is waiting for me I know where he is waiting for me as for that one that he can't urinate hallelujah hallelujah am I talking to so you must understand that if you must take back that which belongs to you, you must be spiritually alert. You must be balanced in the spirit. How can you be in a family? The devil will come and steal away somebody prematurely and he say you are a Christian. No. If you are spirit, it's alive. You are alive to prayer. Anything the devil wants to do, he needs to take permission from you. If you permit him, he will go and attack your brother in Italy. I know many people, you and Italy have covenants. He can't attack you. 
when you have not permitted him. The Bible said when men slept, the enemy came and so tars among the weeds. Some of you, you are like spiritual life, you are sleeping at this dangerous time. If a pastor falls into one problem, you run to the social media and criticize him. But meanwhile, you have been sleeping oh, for a long time ago. You are not awake to pray for him. Pray for your pastors. You are waiting for him. Now when I know we fell. Now you go fell, I know go fell. You must understand that your spirit man is very, very compulsory in the journey of life. You must be alive to prayer. Your life must be, you must make it a, a habit. Prayer must be a habit. Anytime I am driving, I wind up my car. The next thing is to play worship song. If police stop me, I will reduce it and wind down, communicate with them. If they say park, I park. Bring your document, I, I put. At the end of when I enter, I continue. When I come out, because I know that you cannot survive, especially in Nigeria, when you are not prayerful. Am I communicating here? Your spirit man must come to life. I pray for nine of you seated here tonight. Every aspect of your life, spiritually, that is dead, I command them to come back to life. I command them to come back to life. I pray that your prayer life will come back to life. If I hear your amen, take it by fire. If I hear your amen, take it by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. When your prayer life is at zero level, sin is inevitable in your life. You live a life of sin comfortably. It was not then that you committed the crime. Because your prayer life is dead, that is when you can walk into sin, live with sin, you are okay, you are comfortable. When your spirit man is alive to prayer, you cannot, there will be no room for prayers. A lot of people, pastors have asked me, evangelists, you know, the way you travel, the way you move around, the way you travel, you come back, you drop your back, you sleep after two days, you are moving up again, this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that. Do you rest at all? Do you do this at all? I said well, something on Facebook when I said, when you keep yourself busy with the things of God, there are some things you will not do. Am I communicating here? There are things you will not do what? There are things you will not do. When I enter my hotel room locked door, I just start playing worship songs. I start talking to God. You must make sure that your spirit man is alive. When your spirit man is in tune with God, the enemy cannot have space. The canker worm cannot enter. The palmer worm cannot enter when you are in charge of your territory. You know, Lion, do you watch? Nigeria White Lion, they call the lion the king of the jungle when two lions is in a, a territory, every other animal will find their way out when they stand up, lion stand up and see another animal from there he will back on you to tell you, Oga, now me they in charge am I communicating here? that is your whom you are that is how you are supposed to be at the altar of prayer you are supposed to be in charge of your territory you are supposed to be in charge of your own environment you are a pastor of your house when a possible is not there the wife is not there pastors are not there there are some things trying to go wrong oh god resist the devil and he will flee away from you you are going to talk to him remind him that he has been defeated long time ago you cannot do that when you are dead in the spirits. Am I communicating here? You must understand that your spirit man is very, very important in terms of your restoration. If your prayer life, your spiritual life is dead, tonight you are going to pray it back to life. Am I communicating here? That you commit fornication is because your spirit man is dead. Am I communicating here? That you do some things that are not good in your, your, in your relationship with God, you live a life of lies, is because your spirit man is dead. But when your spirit man is alive, there will be no room for sin. Because you know if you pray, you can't commit sin. Because if you commit sin, that prayer is, has a problem. It can't be answered. The Bible said, a fervent prayer of a righteous man, do what? I've much. You must be alive to prayer. When you are alive to prayer, there are things you cannot be comfortable in doing. Am I communicating here? Am I talking to somebody here? You must make sure your spirit man is back to life. 
in this meeting tonight, that's what God, I wanted to go one direction. God said, start from the spirit man. Start from the altar of prayer. Some of you, listen, Elijah called fire. Fire came down from heaven and consumed sacrifice. Some people quote it. Some people talk about it. Fire did not come down just like that. Elijah, first of all, rebuilt the altar of God before calling the fire of God. Am I communicating here? Read the Bible. He first of all put the altar in place. The altar of your prayer must be put to place before you invite God to come and do something. Am I communicating here? Your altar of prayer cannot be at zero level and you are calling on God to come and do something. You must first of all rebuild the altar of prayer in your life before you invite God. The moment the altar of your prayer is rebuilt, God will not have a place to stand whenever you call him to fight your battles. Am I talking to somebody here? You must make sure your spirit man, your altar of prayer is alive. A young boy, a young man, a young girl that cannot pray effectively. There are some of you looking at me here. From January till now, you can't count how many days you have spent on fasting and prayer. You have not spent quality time fasting and prayer. Unless when the church put up a fasting and prayer, some of you come it reluctantly because you see it as something that is not important. Others are making millions. You are talking of prayer. Oh, God, let me tell you. By strength shall no man prevail. There is no way you can prevail in life, in the journey of your relationship with God, when you cannot spend quality time in his presence praying. Some people begin to wonder when some of us speak microphone and we are praying, we are ministering to you prophesying. Some people begin to wonder is this in magic? Is this in magic? How, how did he locate this person? How did he minister to them? How did this thing happen? This thing should be magic. A man that does not have money to marry says all women are witches. That's my response to that. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? It's because you don't know the value, the altar of prayer. You don't know what prayer means. You don't know what they can do. That is when, when some people who have killed their lion and bear is standing to display the power of God. You think it's magic. Everything is magic. Hey, now why you? Hey, they don't go bring power from somewhere. Go bring your own. Let me see. You don't know the road to that place. So you know the road. You know where they bring it. Come bring the lessons now. A man that does not have one naira to marry, tell him to marry. He said to fear aqua. Women, men, women are witches. I don't want to have a check him. He don't have cover. Am I communicating here? Your spirit man, your prayer life must come back to life. That's the first thing God needs to restore. From tomorrow, we we'll go into your personal life, your family. Am I communicating here? You must ask God tonight. Take me back to the pillar of prayer. Restore my prayer life. Take me back to the altar of prayer. Let me pick up the mantle where I can spend quality time reading your Bible, studying the word of God. Where I can spend quality time meditating. Some of Christians are comfortable from year to year. You don't even speak in tongues. You think that uh, this, thing, this thing is not real. How can it happen? How can it? You can't speak in tongues. You can't see a vision. The only thing you dream is dream. Huh. Keep dreaming. When a young girl comes to me and says, Daddy, I dreamt. I don't take it serious. You now, as a youth, you come to me and say, you, you, you had a dream. I'll be laughing at you. A young boy, 20s, 30s, you say you dreamt. What are you dreaming? No, it's not your duty to dream. When a youth is dreaming, that means that youth has lost her prayer life. Your mission, your duty in life as a youth is not to dream dreams. Your duty is to see vision, not to dream dreams. The moment you start dreaming as a youth, you have lost your prayer life. That means you can no longer pray effectively because it's only when you pray you see vision. God said, at the last I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, sons and daughters shall prophesy old men shall dream dreams and the young men shall see vision your duty now as a youth and we want to talk to the youth now is to dream and see and prophesy is to, is to see vision and prophesy it's not to dream dreams it is your mother, your fathers that will dream, that is their mission that is their, dream, their duty when a man, an old man, an old woman is telling me about dream, I take you serious 
I'll make sure I take that dream serious. But when I know you are at your twenties, your thirties, you say you dream, you dreamt. I will first of all take you to a mountainside for prayers, even with your dream. It's not your duty to dream. It is your duty to prophesy and see vision. Vision is not necessarily when you begin to lie down or sit down on your seat and you see rats pursuing dog. That's not what we're talking about. See the kind of vision we're talking about is a vision where you can become a medical doctor, how you can become a lawyer, how you can become a qualified engineer. When you visualize this and begin to speak it out of your mouth, that is to prophesy to, for it to come to pass. Am I communicating here? It's not about sitting down. Hey, hey, I saw a vision where Okazuku came to marry me. Better you, you, if you tell me that, that, that vision that God told you I am your husband, you will finish it and slap you on top. Because you have missed it. You don't understand it. Your duty is to see vision as a youth and prophesy. Prophecy is not about carrying Bible, carrying microphone. Hey, your name is A. Your, 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 your father's name is Z. No, it's not what we're talking about. Prophesying your vision to come to pass. Ministering to your vision prophetically. I must become a civil engineer. I must become a lawyer. I must become a doctor. I prophesy that it's possible for me. I prophesy that the finance is around me. I prophesy that I help to become that thing is around me. I refuse to borrow. I refuse to be a failure. I cannot be a disappointment in my generation. Okay? You are prophesying. Shall we rise? Shall we rise on our feet, everybody? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your two hands, everybody. Say, that God of restoration, restore my prayer life. Open your mouth and pray that prayer, everybody. Thou God of restoration, restore my prayer life. Thou God of restoration, restore my prayer life. I want those who are taking this serious. You want God to restore your prayer life. It's time. Lord, restore, 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 restore. Restore my prayer life. Restore my prayer life. Thou God of restoration. Restore my prayer life. Mountain of prayer fall upon my life. Mantle of prayer fall upon my life. Give me the Bem no no wa gem no no wa abu kwa mi kwa Robe, Aye, 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 Everybody, I to this altar, I to this altar. 
life the lord is bringing it back now Amen. close your eyes the way you used to pray before is not the way you pray again i hear the holy ghost said i am releasing a fresh oil i am releasing a fresh power i am releasing a fresh power upon somebody the power of prayer is coming back to your life close your eyes and wave your hands close your eyes and wave your hand begin to demand demand place a demand for your restoration Tell God, restore my prayer life. Restore the prayer life. Restore my prayer life. Take me back to the altar of prayer. Begin to pray. Say, by the blood of Jesus, I rebuild. I rebuild my altar. I rebuild my spiritual generator. Father, take me to a lister. A lister. Give me a spiritual lister to my prayer life. I'm not hearing your voice. Close your eyes. Tell God I have passed Tiger Generator level. Take me to a list level. Increase my prayer life. I'm not hearing you. Leko Patakata. Only the violence shall take it. If you are tired of your present level, tell God, take me to the pillar. I return to you now in repentance. I need my restoration. Give me my back, my staff of authority as I pray alive. Restore it back. 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 Ah. Who is that woman? Who is that man that need your prayer life to be restored? Place that demand is coming upon you now. Is let that man to fall upon you now. Aha, 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 aha. In the name of Jesus Christ, raise your two hands, close your eyes, raise your two hands, raise it as if you are collecting something from the throne of God. That is a man to God is giving you now a sword. Sorry, a sword, a sword, a sword, a sword, a sword, a sword. It's coming upon somebody. That sword is coming out of your hand. Take it, take it, take it. 
a sword of the spirit is coming he's coming he's coming he's coming he's coming he's coming upon you he's coming take it take it that sword is coming he's coming so that must be divided to destiny that mantle must collapse every thank you jesus Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Let right now. Shout this prayer. Everybody say anything that is dead in my family. Say any good thing in my family that is Clap my hands. Come to life. Come back to life. Any good thing in my family that is dead. Come back to life. Let it come. The In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, okay, you thank you, Father. Thank you, glory. This is something that looks like a filled with different currencies, both Nigeria dollars as he pounds other currencies i cannot pronounce you to pick your hand just you are busy picking the coin body whom only you can see okay what do you do the civil servants the level where you are now you have passed it You have passed the level where you are. there is greatness in your destiny you to be where you should be in the money rituals for you on this you miss this program you're going to bless families that means if you are coming come with your family it's going to be a deep ministry make sure it's going to be a deep ministration. Come with your family. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to arise and begin to shine. Arise. You can see it in your hands. 